Hey! <laughs> so, today I got this Trick or Trade Booster Bundle. What this is, is it's 40 mini packs of cards. Um, there's only three cards per pack. This is supposed to be something that you give out to Trick or Treaters. Um, but, I thought this was actually pretty cool. It's 15 bucks. It's at Target and Walmart. Um, 15 bucks. And for someone like me, who are, I'm going to keep all these cards, that's 120 cards for 15 bucks. That's not too bad. I mean, think about it. Normally, that would be what? Three booster packs, 10 cards each? 15 bucks, and that's only 30 cards. I'm getting 120. I'm getting 90 more <laughs> for free, if you want to look at it that way. So, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know what cards these will entail. I don't know if it's Sword and Shield. I don't know if it's... Uh, um, anything, I, I don't really know, I don't know if they're, I doubt it's special ones for Halloween, but maybe, I don't know, um, but still, that's what we're gonna find out, um, I also don't know what the, like I said, if, if, if I'm kind of stumbling here, so I don't know if, the, if, if it's literally anything could be in here, then there's a lot of options, but if it's like a set, well then that could suck, because I might end up with a ton of doubles, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen, I also hope there's not like a lot of trainers and energies, because that would suck too, <laughs> like and also it would suck if you're like a kid and you get a pack of cards like oh this is cool and then it's all trainers and energies you're like really these aren't pokemon cards these are suck cards <laughs> but anyways also it says mini um i hope these are normal size cards and it just says mini packs just because there's only three yeah okay they're normal size hey look at that that looks, looks kind of cool <laughs> so anyways without dicking around any longer let's get it this is like a Reminds me of like a pack of like uh, Reese's or something. Kind of stinks. Oh my god, I don't know why it smells so horrible. <laughs> That's weird. All right, big stack of cards, 120 cards right here. <laughs> Let's get it. Pack number one, see what we got. Come on, brother. Three cards and they are, oh my god, that is sick. All right. First card, I wonder if they all have this. That means I'm gonna have a lot of Gengars if that's the case. <laughs> but that is sick, nice. It's even got that little pumpkin thing in the corner. Look at that. Pain burst, 10 plus. Attack does 40 more damage for each damage counter of your opponent's active. Oh, wow. It is set to emerge from darkness to steal the lives of those who become lost in mountains. Nice card to start out, wow. Ooh, a Zubat. Hey, it's got a little pumpkin too, that's cool. Is this a set? What did the last one say? No, the last one said 198. This one says 163. So they are different sets, but they're putting the pumpkin thing on them. Hide in shadows and speed dive. Their skin is so thin that they'll be burned if sunlight hits them. <laughs> oh, okay, so they're vampires now. When it gets cold out, they gather together to warm one another's bodies. Uh, really quick as a side note, if you hear a bunch of like rumbling and stuff, it's because there's a thunderstorm going on right now. So <laughs> that's what's happening. Um, Dusclops, there you go. Man, that Gengar, that was sick. First card, first pack open, and it's something sick. Its body is entirely hollow. That eh, makes sense, because you're kind of like a ghost, even though you're called a Beckon, whatever that means. When it opens its mouth, it sucks everything in as if it were a black hole. I was just going to say, what, it's a black hole, and they set it for me. <laughs> okay, first pack was super good. Let's see what pack number two gets me. Is this going to... Holy shit! Does every pack have something awesome in it? Look at this now. I got a Miss Key, Miss, however you say that, Miss Magus. Sweet. Oh man, this is cool. Whoops, not trying to look at other stuff yet. Ooh, do you hear that? That was a big thunder. It's muttered curses can cause awful headaches or terrifying visions that torment others. Ominous pros. Your opponent reveals their hand. If they have four or more cards in their hand, choose all but three, and your opponent shuffles the chosen card in their deck. Oh. All right, sweet. What's next? A hat and a... With the little pumpkin. Via the protrusion on its head, it senses other creatures' emotions. If you don't have a calm disposition, you will... I mean, it will never warm up to you. And a Duskull. That's funny. We get the whole set now. Duskull, Dusclops. Perplex. He looks confused. Look at him scratching his head. Biden over here. If it finds bad children who won't listen to their parents, it will spare them away. Oh, I've heard this story a million times. It's Dusk cool. I always thought it was, uh... Yeah, I always thought that story was for a Bennett or something like that. It was Dusk that had that story? Okay, let's see what we got in this one. Nice. I knew it would be something sexy. 
They keep giving you something gorgeous. God, these packs are sick. The kids would be excited, actually. Gorgeist. Holy crap, I don't think I've ever gotten a Pumpkaboo <laughs> Evolution card. This might be my first one ever. <laughs> Pandemonium, 60 times. What is this all about? Reveal the top six cards of your deck. This attack does 60 damage for each psychic energy, I mean psychic Pokemon you find there. Then shuffle those Pokemon back into your deck and discard the other cards. So you definitely want this guy in a psychic themed deck because he will do some serious damage. In the darkness of a new moon night, Gorgeist will come knocking. Whoever answers the door will be swept off to the afterlife. Oh wow, that's crappy. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm dead now. Ooh, Ariados. Not rare, but it looks cool enough to be a rare non-hollow. Spider Knight. When you play this Pokemon from hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during a turn, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon of evolution Pokemon with their active Pokemon. It's a lot of words. It's confusing. There are too many Pokemon. Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. <laughs> It spews threads from its mouth to catch its prey. When night falls, it leaves its web to go hunt aggressively. What? Sounds like it's hunting aggressively while it's spraying those threads. In a sinister fruit of drop. This Pokemon is said to have been born when a lonely spirit possessed a cold leftover cup of tea. That is such a weird thing to possess. Why would a why would a <laughs> spirit be like you know what i'm sick of being a spirit i'm look at that cold tea i want to be a cup of tea why <laughs> what do we got now god so far it's awesome i haven't gotten any doubles yet that is sick i mimic you now heel jamming it wears a rag fashioned into a pikachu costume in an effort to look less scary unfortunately the costume only makes it creepier <laughs> you know they always have these backstories but it's like you never get to see see them otherwise like cubone it's always wearing its mother's head every single cubone's mom dies right away and then it's like hey, i'm gonna put your skull on and, and it rots dies and rots fast enough for the cubone to wear the head but you never see one without that or like this mimikyu it's wearing a costume well you never get to see it without its costume like that would be cool and different a fat thump i was wondering why there was a grass because all of these are like darker or, or psychic for halloween but phantom usually it's a psychic right this one's just grass for no reason with a voice like a human child, it cries out to lure adults deep into the forest, getting them lost among the trees. Kind of sounds like what the guys at my brother's job used to do. Dad! <laughs> Dad! Animus Dreavis. Bumble. Oh, so he's a, he's a new age rapper, you know, mumble rapper. <laughs> With a sick beat, though, so everyone's like, oh, God, that's fire. Ugh. It conceals itself with darkness. Something chills up traveler's spines with its childlike weeping. Oh my god, another one that imitates kids. As it observes the frightened travelers with glee, the red orbs upon its chest let off an eerie light. All right. Mischievous, why are you creepy? I mean, I guess you're supposed to be, but... Okay, next up. Nah, why is this one not opening? I feel like I'm bending these cards. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, come, what, what's going on? Why are they stuck? And come on. A Dusk Noir, still no doubles. Nice. Why does he look weird? <coughs> Why am I coughing like I'm doing a weird voice? I What is happening here? I can't make this out. <laughs> it's a weird picture. Hold on. Dusk Clops evolves? <laughs> am I an idiot? Since when does this happen? I always thought it was just... I always thought it was... Um... Wait, hold on. Yeah, I thought it was Dust Skull, Dust Glops. It evolves further into a Dusk Noir? Hmm, that's cool. At the bidding of transmissions from the spirit world, it steals people and Pokemon away. No one knows whether it will. I mean, it has a will of its own. Dust Noir. A lampant. Uncommon. Top entry. And reignite. This Pokemon appears just before someone passes away, so it's feared as an emissary of death. Emissary of death, said that wrong. Ooh, Gasly, there you go. 0.2 pounds, that's what he's always been. With a gas like body, it can sneak into any place it desires. However, it can be blown away by wind. <laughs> gas like body, it is. It even says gas Pokemon. It's not gas like, it is gas. Come on, bro. I feel like if I was a big enough channel and I could live stream, this would be better as a live stream than as a video. 
Oh well. Ah, first double. Miss Gibbious. But we also got a Litwick. The flame on his head keeps its body slightly warm. This Pokemon takes lost children by the hand to guide them to the spirit world. And ooh, Hunter! And we got a Gengar already. Sweet, we got the whole evolution. If you get the feeling being watched in darkness when nobody's around, Hunter is there. The only thing is, you're telling kids that a Hunter is there. Well, Hunter's not real, so no, he's not there. <laughs> you're misguiding kids to think that Hunters are going to be hanging out with them. Oh my god, I think there's a Hunter here. No, kid, Hunter's not real. Speaking of Hunter, we got another Gengar. This was a sexy card, though, so I'll take a double happily. Hey, Cubone, I was just making fun of you. And you're like the first one that's not really Halloween-y. I guess, though, because you wear a skull and you could say it's a mask and the backstory's a bit dark, like your mom died and then you wear her head, so maybe that's why you fit in, but... For the most part, you're not really like a ghost or psychic or dark like these other characters have been. Anyway, it wears his mother's skull on his head, so no one knows what its bare face looks like. However, it's clear that it's always crying. <laughs> okay, you emo. Jeez. Pumpka Boo! I got your evolution too. The light that streams out from the holes in the pumpkin can hypnotize and control the people and Pokemon that see it. This little thing, 11 pound, one foot four, being that weird and creepy and controlling people? Damn, bro. Uh, okay. What the heck? Why is this one so difficult to open? There we go. Yank. What do we got? Oh, a Dust Noir again. This might be it, then maybe that's all the rares that you get. Dang it. So the rest of my rares are probably gonna be doubles, but you can still get regular cards. Now, why is a Pikachu in here? You have nothing to do with Halloween, other than that you're the face of the franchise. Maybe that's why. When Pikachu meet, they'll touch their tails and exchange electricity through them as a form of greeting. Ooh, a Murkrow. It searches for shiny things for its boss. Murkrow's presence is said to be unlucky. So many people detest it. Ooh. Next pack. How many did we do so far? I'm thinking since there's four, maybe I'll do videos of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means two more. So this would be nine, and then one more after this. Oh, holy shit. Look at this. I'm new to it. I was wrong. There is more still. <laughs> We're not all on doubles. Nice. Holy crap, look at this. This is a sexy card. Damn, bro. Cyburn. A Pokemon created by combining Mew's genes. It is said to have the most savage heart among Pokemon. Savage? Not really. Detective Pikachu, he wasn't savage. He was... He, he, he understood the whole situation and did the right thing. Just people pinned it wrongly on him. Zubat again. First regular card double. I've had plenty of rare doubles, but no regular card. Holy crap, and a dust tops. So the Mewtwo was absolutely sick, but the two regular cards were doubles. All right, last one for this video. Oh, we got another new one. Chandelier. Chandelier. Ooh, I don't have the lip and yeah, I have the litwick. Hmm. This Pokemon haunts dilapidated mansions. It sways its arms to hypnotize opponents with the ominous dancing of its flames. Nice. Hatina. Did we get this yet? Yeah, this is the one that yeah senses your um uh disposition. And a dust skull. Ooh, and that is the 10, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. So these cards are sick. 15 bucks. So far, they've been very awesome. I'm happy so far. I almost want to go back and buy another pack just in case there's more six. Of them. I mean, I still got 30 to go through. But, uh, yeah. Um, this Mewtwo is probably the best one so far. That is one sick Mewtwo. I mean, that Gengar was sick at first. Because I didn't know that there was a hit in every pack. But, oof. Anyways, I guess that's all for this one. There will be <laughs> three more videos of this. And yeah, be sure to check those out as well. There's no codes, unfortunately, but if you do like the codes, I still have a ton that I need to get rid of. So please hit me up. I can definitely easily hook you up. Anyhow, that is all I got for now. So until next time, I said see ya.